there's this guy who tweeted at me, and this is what he tweeted. You are a dirty, carpet-munching cunt that belongs in my kitchen, washing my dishes and cock. Write a poem about that. So I took his advice and wrote a poem. <laughs> Obviously, you are a rotting dick. <laughs> An asswipe. An open sore existing among the worst tumors that plague humanity. You are an apology someone should have made to women centuries ago. Today, you remain a very good reason abortions should remain legal and available <laughs> to every woman who finds herself carrying the figurative fetus of your fetid misogyny. Get the fuck out of my womb, you hater of your own origin. You forget you came from, from some woman's cunt. The pussy you so deride provided a path for you to get here spewing your sick soliloquy. Your existence makes a good argument also for capital punishment. Only I hold myself accountable to a more compassionate code of ethics. So I will refrain from advocating for the archaic quartering of you. I will also resist the urge to imagine you shackled in sequestered servitude, kneeling at the altar of some woman's holy cunt, washing her feet with your mouth only. I do not wish her the degradation of your tongue on her flesh, your feet on her floors. You are the one thing I will spend my entire life trying to protect my daughter from the slime of your ignorance, the sweat of your hate, coward that you are, hiding behind the intangible shroud of the virtual. Your keystrokes are the only ones with any fucking power, you impotent, unimportant little man. You splatter the male identity with the putridity you exude, rotting apple, you gonarial wound refusing to heal. You would have us conclude that most men are like you, but for the stellar examples of them in my life, I would think you the norm. Your actions might inform the love I cradle for those small boys in my circle, earnestly learning how to be better than the monster you have chosen to be. Far and away, Frankenstein, you frighten me with your ability to keep breathing, your inclination to replicate, to recruit, to keep pressing the boot of your discrimination upon the necks of generation after generation after generation. The only thing that prevents me from raising arms and going gorilla after your ass with guns is our collective dedication to the eradication of your kind across all the borders of feminism and race and spaces held wire against the throat of equality. Women resist you. You heart and motherfucking body. We kill your thoughts and your words with our cunts and our collarbones in our kitchens and our bedrooms. We rebuke all you offer as fact. The act of tweeting something does not make it true, you ignorant motherfucker. You are only a narrow opinion constructed poorly. 140 characters. Your cavalry is not nearly as committed as mine. From Nairobi to New York, from Kingston to Jakarta, you and your cronies were contrived to keep the best parts of us broken. These poems, you and your drones continue to encourage. These litanies I am forced to compose will stand as evidence to your crumbling motherfucking tyranny. Time will hold your actions, your utterance as more than shameful. It is with every disease before you. The strongest, most admirable parts of being human will keep adapting over and over. Watch us adapt, motherfucker. We will already show you what history has already shown us. What doesn't kill us will make our resistance stronger. Motherfucker, you listening? What does not kill us will make our resistance stronger. What does not kill us will make us motherfucking stronger.